I'm going to kick off uh, with a viewer question, and this one is from Terry Moore. And the question is, if you win, will you ask advice from Nicola Sturgeon? Ash, I'll start with you. Of course I would. Nicola is a very successful politician. She has been at the top of her game for many, many years now. It's very unusual in politics to be um, in that, at that high level for such a long period, so of course I would. However, I think she's uh, looking for other jobs elsewhere, so she may not be around for much longer. Uh, snappy answer, absolutely yes, she's exceptional. Uh, yes, but I have to say it will be the strangest feeling in the world answering a question from Nicola Sturgeon in the backbenches, but yes, <laughs> absolutely. What about Alex Salmon? Take advice from him? No. No? He's in a different party, a rival party, so, so no. So no? No. No. So no one takes advice from Alex Salmon, but all yes to Nicola Sturgeon. Uh, let's start off with you, Hamza, for this one. Is J.K. Rowling a national treasure? Oh, yes, I think she's done amazing in terms of the book she's written, but I d disagree with her vehemently on the issue of transgender rights. OK. Yes, and I do think she's brave. Do you disagree with her on the issue of transgender rights? No, I don't disagree with her. You don't disagree with her, no. so you... So you back her on that. Ash? Um, I think she is a national tre treasure, yes. I think she was very brave to speak out on an issue where many women who had raised legitimate concerns were receiving, you know, quite threatening communications. So, yes, she's uh, definitely a national treasure. OK, and Kate, I'll come to you first for this one. Gary Lineker has been reinstated as a BBC presenter. After the chaos of the last few days, should the Director General Tim Davey stand down? Well, I certainly think he's not done the BBC any services at a time when already... There is huge debate. Freedom of speech is a huge question mark in our society. And I think the whole process has been managed really badly. Ash? I would agree with that. I think it has been managed badly and it has not made the BBC look in a very good light. Tim Davies, stay on go. I think he should... Well, it's up to him. He, he maybe will want to consider that, but it definitely has put the BBC in a... It looks like it's in a bit of a conflicted position. Do you regret giving Gary Lineker a red card the other night? I did preface it by saying that I hadn't actually seen the tweets concerned and I thought it was something to do with football. <laughs> OK. Hamza, what do you think? Tim Davies... Uh, look, I, I, I genuinely don't think government ministers acting and, and, and current serving government ministers should be interfering in who's in charge of our public broadcaster or not. Gary Lineker was absolutely right to make the remarks he did and it's a heck of a world where the main opposition is Gary Lineker and Carol Vorderman at the moment, but more power to both their elbows. OK, final quick fire. I'm going to go to you first, Ash. Rishi Sunak or Keir Starmer, who's the next PM? Um, I think that it was looking at the moment that it might be Keir Starmer. Keir Starmer, Kate? I think it's highly likely it'll be Keir Starmer. Well, one's a Tory and one's a pale imitation of a Tory, but I'll tell you what, I'll work with anybody to kick out the Tories. <laughs>